Okay, so this is a dish rack that we were going to throw out and I decided to create my own NQD jet boat trailer. So I did some cutting and some bending, a little bit of grinding, and took one piece off that was just the right width, cut out all the middle bars that weren't needed, bended and bent and shaped the front end out of the thicker parts had it ground down to allow for a tow hook of some sort and basically drilled holes through it put pins in and ground them down flush to hold this together and make it sturdy and uh, hopefully this thing will be half decent when I'm done. Might not be pretty, but it will be functional. So that's the main frame. The starting of the main frame. So after rummaging through what uh, I've collected over the years, I found a suitable axle this rod was threaded on each end, just my luck, and there was a space groove for a C-clip. So I decided to utilize the C-clip to stop the wheel from moving either way on the shaft. I managed to find, I don't know what they're from, a set of ball bearings that just so happened to be a tight fit in the inside of the rim. So I pressed those into the rim and basically add one washer for a spacer between the bearing and the C-clip like so the tire slides on one more spacer on the outside and I went and found a suitable lock nut to complete the assembly so that'll be the axle and it just happens to be about the right size for my trailer it should suit it and I grabbed some strapping from work some scrap strapping to construct some leaf springs for my suspension I managed to curl up the ends and then uh, bent it to the proper shape but was wondering how the heck am I going to attach this thing to my axle so the easiest way that I could think of was to recut the springs and make little wings I guess you could say and drill them out I'll bend these down bend the curve upwards and these will just slide on to the axle. Now to stop these from moving on the axle I took a brass fitting which I cannot find right now. Anywho I took a brass fitting that you can pick up at any hardware store ground it down this way on the outside got rid of all the threads, milled it down to the size that I need and then drilled a hole this way and threaded one on each end and then what I'm going to do is cut them to the right length so that they'll fit right in, be right in between the two wings and the grub screw will lock it down to the shaft completing that assembly for my suspension. Haven't got there yet, but hopefully I'll be there soon. So this is going to be the retainer collars for the leaf springs so they don't move around on the shafts. You can see all the grinding I've done so far from the original. Just using a file and my drill managed to 
shape it to what I need. Now it's just a matter of cutting each collar to the right length.